Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS4 jailbreak update. So we got a big update here. A new version of Goal 10 has been released to version 2.4 B18.6. And this version is specifically targeting those of us using the Blu-ray exploit to jailbreak the console. There's a couple of very useful features added here specifically for the Blu-ray exploit. And there is at least one new feature uh, that is handy for everybody as well, which is the plugin updater. So as you can see here, we've got a added BD app auto kill and disk auto eject. After running the Blu-ray exploit, it will automatically close the application for you. And it can also eject the disk if you want as well. And it's also added a plugins downloader. So you can download the latest plugins directly from Goal 10 instead of having to use external homebrew applications like the PS4 Cheats Manager. And then we also have an added AIO fix plugin. The AIO fix plugin was something you could enable manually in the INI file for Goal 10, but now it's actually added as an option so that you can toggle it on and off just from within the Goal 10 settings, a lot more convenient. And we also have an updated Goal 10 supporters page as well, which will show all of the latest supporters of Goal 10. So all of that stuff there has been added. Again, if you want to support Sistro, you can enter a donation amount to get the download and uh, you know help support the development of the project. But of course, if you just want the download, you can enter zero and it will still give you the download if you're just looking for that. That is also an option. So, so in order to actually update the Goal 10 payload, especially if you're using the Blu-ray version of the exploit, then all you have to do is copy the Goal 10 payload from the download using 7-zip to open it, of course. And then you can extract the Goal10.bin file to the root of a USB drive that is formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. Simply copy the Goal 10 payload in there and rename it to payload.bin. Also worth noting that you need to have show file extensions on Windows Explorer so you can actually see the .bin extension to make sure you're renaming it properly to payload.bin. And that is how you get the payload prepared. Then you just plug that USB drive into your PS4. So then all you need to do is run the Blu-ray disc with the exploit on it. If you're using the official repo bd-jailbreak laps 1.2 or 1.1, hopefully 1.0, it should all be the same where you just have the payload on the USB and it will load that one. I'm using my AIO version, which also has the same payload logic, even though it contains the older version of Gold 10 on the disc. It will prioritize the one on the USB and load that one first. I cannot say about other, you know, modified versions of the exploits that you might have got from other people. I have no idea how those ones are set up, if they'll just load the older one on the disc or if they'll prioritize the USB. I'm not sure. But if you're using the official release from the developer, Gejine, or you're using the uh, AIO version that I released, it will load the one from the USB drive. So it applies the AIO patch and then it copies the USB payload to the hard drive so that the next time you want to load this version of Goal 10, it will just load it from the hard drive. And that is good. And then as you can see there, it's now running Goal 10 2.4 B18.6 and we have everything up and running. The only thing is we still have to manually close the disc player, at least this time, until we can actually enable the feature to auto close for the next time we load it. And that is us. So now that we have the jailbreak up and running on our console here, if I head into the Gold 10 settings, we've got the plugin settings. So you can see here we've got the enable plugins loader and we now have not just the game patch plugin option, but also the AIO fix plugin is now an option in here as well. Now they're grayed out at the moment because I don't have any plugins installed, but we also now have the ability to update the plugin archive and we can update it from either the internet, from the official GitHub repo, or we can update it from a USB drive or the hard drive if you have the plugins stored on the USB drive in an update folder or on the HDD in an update folder in the data folder, I presume. Then you'll be able to install it locally from those locations if you're keeping your console offline. But the easiest way, of course, is just the default internet option if you're connected to the internet. You can update the plugins archive and that will download all of the latest plugins and then these plugins will now be available to enable. So you can enable the plugins loader and then enable whatever plugins you want, like the game patch plugin. Now, as for the AIO fix plugin, you're generally not going to want to enable this in most cases. If you're using the Blu-ray exploit version 1.2 or higher, then an updated version of the AIO fix is automatically applied when you load that exploit. So you don't want to have this enabled because then you'd be applying the fix twice and they're slightly different. Also, even if you're using one of the older versions of the Blu-ray exploits, version 1.0, 1.1 or 1.1b, that does not automatically apply the fix. It's still not really recommended to use the Gold 10 plugin version because it's an outdated version when you have the updated one from ABC that you can load manually 
with a payload injector or with payload guest uh, which i've done a video on which i will leave in the video description so generally it's not really recommended to use this technically you can enable this to apply the fix on older versions of the blu-ray exploit that don't apply the fix automatically it will resolve most of the black screen and save data corruption issues but it's generally recommended to use the updated payload instead. Also, the PS3 versions of the exploit through the web browser, they also apply the AIO fix now as well. So it's not necessary to enable this version if you're using the latest web browser version of the exploit too. So that's the general idea there. So that's the new plugin settings that's been added. We also, of course, have in the settings the enable BD app auto kill. So we can enable this option so it will automatically close the disc player after it's loaded goal 10. So as soon as goal 10 starts, the disc player will be killed so that you don't have to manually, you know, close it yourself, which is quite handy. And then there's also the option to enable the auto eject so that goal 10 is loaded successfully and it closes the disc player app. It will also eject the disc from your console. So that was of course down to personal preference, whether you leave the disc in your console like I do, then you probably don't want to have this option enabled because every time you load the console, you're going to want to have the disc in to reload the jailbreak. So for me, I would not have this option enabled, but we'll go ahead and enable it anyway, just to test it here. But obviously if you're somebody who doesn't keep the disc in, then you can enable that option to auto eject. So now we'll just go ahead and restart the console here and try and load the jailbreak again and see if it automatically closes the disc player and ejects the disc. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and run this again. Now, of course, if goal 10 doesn't run because the jailbreak fails, it will not automatically close the disc player. But in this case, it was successful. And there we go. Wow, that was very fast. I was kind of expecting the notifications to pop up first. And yep, it has actually ejected the disc from my console as well. And there we go. It has now closed and we now have Gold 10 loaded successfully. So there we go. So you don't have to wait in the disc player anymore and then close the disc player once it's done. It pretty much happens immediately as soon as uh, things are, as soon as the jailbreak loads successfully, then we get the player closed automatically and we're back in the home page before we even get the gold 10 notification appearing on screen so that is pretty handy and you can see the disc has ejected because it's no longer showing up here if i pop the disc back in again you can see it is now loading back up so yeah pretty useful update there for gold 10 if you're using the blu-ray exploit being able to automatically close it like this just gets the exploit loaded a lot faster more convenient and uh, yeah, the auto disk eject is a nice bonus for those that want to use that. In my case, again, I would not be using that feature, but I'll definitely be using the auto close feature to get up and running with the exploit faster. And then also we've got the plugins downloader as well. So we can now download all the latest plugins directly from within Goal 10. We can also do that with the cheats as well. Uh, we've been able to do that for a while with the cheats and the cheat settings on older versions. So you can now update the cheats and the plugins so it's just the patches it seems we're missing at the moment. Then we'd be able to do that entirely without requiring, you know, an external homebrew application like the PS4 Cheats Manager. Although to apply the patches, you still need the PS4 Cheats Manager, which might be why it's not been added here. And of course, there's also a new section of Gold 10 supporters. If you go into the About section, we now have Gold 10 supporters. And this shows the top list of, you know, who's the highest donator to the project. So there's a whole list here that goes down showing all of the supporters of the people who are uh, donating the most money to the project and are the biggest supporters. I'll also release an updated version of my all-in-one ISO where I'll update the Goal 10 payload on the disk to the latest version so that if you are loading it just from the disk, you'll be able to get the latest payload on there. But again, if you're using one of the older versions, you can just, again, put it on a USB and it will load it from there and copy it to the hard drive and then load that one in future from the hard drive so it's not necessary to update. Uh, your ISO. So that's basically it for this one. Just a quick update on this new Goal 10 release. Definitely one of the better Goal 10 releases we've had with these new features added. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.